Refreshing Stories. Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Kana. I'm currently working as an ordinary office worker. I'm enjoying my life, but there is one problem. There is one person who I just can't forget and it's bothering me. There was a classmate named Ayako in my high school days who always had her eyes on me and competed with me in everything we did, which was very annoying. She always took credit for what I did, and even my boyfriend and crush. Ugh, it was so frustrating. If she wasn't there, I would have enjoyed my school life more, but there was always that one person. She said her goal was to marry a rich, handsome guy, but I haven't seen her since graduating high school. Which is a relief, so I don't know what she's doing now, but I honestly don't care. By the way, I was recently invited to a class reunion. I was so happy and excited to meet my friends back then, but wait, having this means... This is the only opportunity that I can meet not only my friends, but also other classmates. I wonder what they are all doing now. My name is Maya Yamada. I've been Kana's best friend since elementary school and love her to death. But we haven't met for a while, which was sad. Kana, you're going to marry the CEO of that SIC? Congratulations. Why didn't you tell us? Especially your best friend about this. How do you know? Actually, yeah. Sorry about that because it was decided recently. The wedding is going to be next year or two, so please don't go around telling people this. Oh, it was? Roger that. Wow, you are one lucky woman. Can you tell us how you guys met? We really want to know. There's plenty of time to tell us in detail. Well, <laughs> I was having so much fun meeting up with my classmates after a long time. Everyone had grown up, but they were still the same as before. Then, finally... I had a bad feeling about this. When I turned around, yes, you all guessed it, it was Ayako. Hey, a long time no see, Kana. How are you? Ayako, yeah, um, long time no see. By the way, it seems like you're going to marry a CEO of some big company, right? How the hell did you do that? I know for sure that you did something. There's no way a CEO would marry a plain Jane like you. Seriously. How do you know about this? And no, I didn't do anything. Hey, there's no way that some idiot who had her boyfriend stolen for her by me would get married before me. And that man is super duper rich. You stalked him wherever he went and appeared out of nowhere, purposely spoiled a drink on him and apologized using puppy dog eyes and saying you're so clumsy, right? How dare you? Uh, I don't know what you're saying. Kana, what are you doing here? Hurry up and come back. We're waiting to hear more of the story. Sorry, be right there. Please excuse me. Gah! She always has been annoying. Whatever she does, I can't believe that a woman like her is going to marry before me. And to a super rich guy? I'm going to definitely steal him from her. Don't worry, all the guys will love me, so it's not going to be hard at all. I'll start tomorrow. Then, her old bad habit kicked in, and she started asking gossip lovers around the venue about my husband, and started writing down on a notepad, I see. A CEO of SIC, huh? You better be prepared for this, Kana. I'll show you hell. Ayako then immediately got to work. I don't know how she did it, but she was able to make appointment to meet with the CEO of SIC the next morning. Looks like her plan is already working. Goodness, the way she slowly hunts for prey is just like a snake, as always. She always has been popular with men due to her gorgeous appearance, perfect language and gestures. When she approached the CEO, he blushed and his eyes filled with hearts. So, as she visited him often, it didn't take long before they started dating. Masao, I'm so sorry for being late. The train came a little late. <laughs> it's okay. I actually just came here, so even if you're late, I'll wait for you forever. <laughs> Ugh, this guy is so gross as always. Help me! He looks dirty in this ridiculous body. Doesn't he realize this? I don't want to touch him whatsoever, but tolerate this, Ayako. You can do this. Okay, breathe. This is delicious. Um, can I ask you something, Masao? It is. Sure. Wait, is, is it... Ayako? <laughs> is it true that you're planning on buying an expensive car? I heard someone say that. An expensive car? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Where did you hear that? I actually already reserved. <laughs> oh my! There's only going to be 10 sold in Japan, right? I saw that on TV the other day. I want the red one. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow, you know a lot about it. So happy for that. I'll think about that, but be excited about it. <laughs> yes! Is it also true that someone who loves you proposed to you recently? A reverse proposal? <laughs> I heard that from someone, too. You know about that, too? My goodness. Is there anything you don't know? <laughs> yeah, that is also true, but since I have you, I turned her down. It, she, she looked very sad, but congratulated me, saying to be happy. So let's be happy together, Ayako. I'm getting the chills. Huh, is that... A flyer for a super luxury condo? Hey, that place was featured on TV the other day. He's planning to buy that condo also? For us to live in? Are you serious? He's much richer than expected. Yes, love this. Aw, you said that for me? Thank you, I love you so much. Um, can I ask you something this time, Ayako? What do you think about me? You can be honest with me. I've been hurt in the past, so if you have something negative to tell me, I'm ready. What? Something negative? No, I love you so much in the whole wide world. Even beyond, really, I'm not lying. Really? Thank you so much. I, I'm relieved to hear that. I love you from the bottom of my heart, too. And I can't think of someone besides you. <laughs> uh, can I sing you a bit of the love song that I have? Here it is. I know we'll be alright this time Darling, just hold my hand Be my girl, I'll be your man How was that? God, that's so gross He's the worst guy I ever met in my life I could literally feel every chill on my body right now It's kind of okay in the head, she has such a bad taste Wow, her type has changed a lot since high school but unlike when she was younger, she must be more concerned about money now. So she can't be selfish. Actually, this guy is probably the only one who's available for her. <laughs> like a last resort. But he's mine now. <laughs> Too bad. I'm getting all the money. Uh, Ayako? Uh, my annual income's only about 50, but I'll promise to make that bigger little by little. I'm trying my best to do that every day. This proposal might be a little early, but I'll make you happy and love you until the end. Y you'll marry me, right? We love each other this much, and know we'll be happy together, so please... But 50? What? Does he mean his annual income is 50 billion yen? Yes! Uh, Ayako? Hello? Are you listening to me? Oh, yeah, sorry, of course. I feel so honored to marry an amazing person like you, Marcel. You know what? It's better to act quickly before something changes. So let's get married already. Let's go get the marriage certificate on our way home today. Really? Are you sure? I thought you were going to say no. I'm so happy. <laughs> Yes! Annual income of 50 billion yen. I successfully stole Kana's fiancé. That was very easy. <laughs> oh my! This feels so good and satisfying. I can't stop laughing and imagining how her face would look like if she found out. I wasn't aware of what was happening and was relaxing in the living room of my house while watching a movie. Just when my favorite scene was coming up, I suddenly got a call from Ayako. I knew it was something that would be a waste of time, but I picked up. Uh, hello? Hi, Kana, what's up? Guess where and what I'm doing right now. Just guess. Huh? Right now? Um, how would I know that? Do you want to know? No, it's fine. I'm at a hotel with your husband now. He's sleeping right next to me. W what? Haha, <laughs> in your face. I stole your rich fiancé from you. He's in mine now. So, how does that feel? I know that you're frustrated and confused right now. Are you? Hello? Are you listening to me? Um, Ayako? Hey! It was impossible for someone, like, lame like you to marry a rich man in the first place. The same feeling when I stole your boyfriend back in high school. Tell me how you feel right now. I want to know so badly. Um, Ayako? What? Are you going to say I'm lying? I'm not. Do you want a picture? No, it's not that. I want to tell you that my husband is next to me right now. What? Um, hi, Ayako? Nice to meet you. I'm Kana's husband. What? What? No! That's not possible! Then who the hell is the guy next to me right now? <laughs> Ayako... G get away from me, you creep! You told me you're the CEO of SIC! Were you lying to me then? Seriously? 
Huh? What? No! I am the CEO of SIC! You're not Kana's husband, then? Uh, no, um, uh, who's Kana? I don't know her. Uh, Ayako? This might be my theory, but maybe you misunderstood something. Even if you heard SIC might have been somewhere different. What? Misunderstood? Me? I know for sure that I heard your husband works at SIC. All of the classmates on that day said that, so I shouldn't be wrong. Well, it's true that my company's name is SIC, but it stands for Scato International Company. Yeah. Sukato International Company. Company, wait, please tell me that this is a joke. What was your company's name again, Masao? Hmm, Scato International Company. That's a nice name. Mine is Tsukima Industry Company. SIC. It's a small one, but it's still a company. <laughs> no! What? Um, were you trying to steal my fiance away from me? Doing the same thing you did back then or something? Are you having fun doing this? What? What if I did? I'm more suitable to become a rich CEO's wife than you. Seriously. Uh, I knew it. Hold on, but I still don't believe what's going on. Are you lying about this? Y you're just pretending that your husband is next to you making up some random company with the SIC initials because you're frustrated that I took Masa from you, aren't you? Take a look at this. What? Who is this super handsome guy? The guy next to me is super ugly. Are they the same human being? Ugh, I hate this. This isn't fair at all. Why me? Why? It's not good to judge people by their appearance, Ayako. That's very rude. Exactly. The inside is more important than the outside. And even though I'm a CEO, I still have a long way to go. I finally reached an annual income of 50 million yen recently. So Masao is doing a good job keeping the company stable there. What? 50 million yen? Are you serious? Just 50 million yen? How pathetic. <laughs> Hilarious! Um, Ayako? Oh my, how stupid of me for being pissed at you! 50 million is nothing! Masao here earns 50 billion yen! No matter how handsome your husband is, he earns less than my Masao! This would be my what? My six or seven? <laughs> what? 50 billion yen? Where did that come from? I wish I had that much, but my annual income's 50,000 yen! What? Um, what did you just say? I said that my annual income is 50,000 yen, and and it's not less than or more than that. It's the same every month. Wait, you're joking, right? You're a CEO of a company, so that's not possible. You said 50 when you proposed to me, remember? I'm not joking. I said that, but I meant 50,000 yen. Thousand? Isn't that a mistake for a billion? Uh, there's no way I would have a billion yet. I'm still paying off the debt I've had since starting the company, and I'm struggling with living expenses every month. So, that's why I said I'll promise to make it bigger and bigger. That's what I meant. What? Yeah. The other reason is that I still have zero employees. I'm the only one who works there, actually. Zero? Why? Well, that's because I wanted to keep the workplace drama-free. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> this isn't funny at all. This is something serious. But then how come our conversation made sense? Made sense? The conversation? When you told me that you proposed, but turned it down, what was that about? Huh? Oh! The person I was talking about was a character from Love Blossom Romance, a game that I always do during break and after work. It's been my favorite game since high school. What the hell is that? Wait, hold on. Yeah, it was so hard to talk back and decline my marriage to the precious Kaori-chan, but I have you, Ayako, so now I can forget her. <laughs> Ugh, can't believe I was compared to a game character. That Then, what about the expensive car? Oh, that. I was talking about the expensive miniature car that's only available in Japan. I have a whole collection of that at the house. And if I buy that one, it'll be completed. M miniature car? Are you for real? Yeah, it's a limited edition model that fans have been predicting for years. <laughs> Can't believe that it became a reality. I, I was so excited when I found out about this. I won it in a lottery out of millions of people who wanted it. Then what about that flyer of the condo? Uh, what are you talking about? A condo? You don't remember? You had a flyer of a super luxury condo at the restaurant that night. <laughs> You're so funny, Ayako. <laughs> Do you think I could afford such a place? I was using the back of it as a memo. I listed down the next model and the people who wanted to come over to my house to see my collection. Oh no, then that means everything was my misunderstanding. Can't believe this. Give me my time back. Misunderstanding? What part? You said that you loved me in the whole wide world, even beyond, 
and didn't mind if my annual income was 50, so that's why I thought that you were the one and got married to you instead of my precious Kaori-chan! I'll say this again, but it was hard, but with my annual income now, I'm still struggling to pay for the debts, so you'll help me, right? That's what married couples do if they love each other, and we do! Don't worry, I'm not asking for you to work forever. After my company gets bigger and can hire some employees, you can quit and be a housewife. All you need to do is to be there for me. Uh, how does that sound, Ayako? Are you freaking kidding me? No way in hell I want to be with someone like you. What? Why? Ugly, annual salary of 50,000 yen, and collecting miniature cars for a hobby? There's no reason for me to marry you anymore. Get out of my face. But I already submitted the marriage registration today. Sorry, I'll try to change those things little by little. What? Uh, because you were the one who said that you wanted to get married already, saying it's better to act quickly before something changes, remember? So I quickly went this morning and submitted it. Uh, I was going to tell you about it as a surprise later, actually. <laughs> what have you done, you scumbag? Um, uh, Ayako, hello? I've been hearing everything and don't know how to say this, but are you okay? Shut up! No, I'm not! Then she hung up and I never heard from her again. Honestly, I didn't know what the time was, but I continued watching my favorite movie. I heard this from a classmate, but it seemed like Ayako didn't want to be known as a person who divorced once, so she didn't get a divorce. She's now living with Masao while working part-time, avoiding and tolerating him as much as possible. However, being the person that she is, a person who loves handsome rich guys, she's been going to matchmaking parties frequently, pretending to be single and trying to find someone. The people there somehow found out that she was engaged, so she ended up being banned from all matchmaking parties. She has nowhere to go anymore. Come to think of it, it's scary how people know something about you. Still, Ayako refused to give up and kept on saying to Masao that she would move out as soon as she finds a good partner. But since it wasn't going anywhere, she just gave up. And seems like she got used to Masao. Ayako, thank you so much for working hard for me every day. I appreciate it. Here, I made dinner for you today. I hope you like it. Oh, oh whenever you're tired, I'll make dinner for you, okay? Just tell me. It's not like I'm working for you or anything. At first, the reason why she worked part-time was to earn money for hanging out with friends and treating herself to buying clothes or bags. But she began to feel affection for Masao, who was always kind to her. She gradually began supporting him, spending more time. She even started saving up. She changed for the better. Then, a few years later, I saw an article about Masao winning the mobile prize in the hard work category. The headline was thanks to my devoted wife, with a picture of him looking very happy holding a trophy. And by reading the rest of the article, I could tell that they genuinely love each other now. And it warmed my husband and my heart. Hey, they were meant to be from the beginning. <laughs> hmm, I guess that everything eventually settles into place. I wish them a lifetime full of happiness. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!